Welcome back to Dave Wright the Capitalist YouTube channel. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> First of all, when I do these videos, I have to go put a shirt on. I was like, I should just start being honest with these people and just film shirtless. But I have put a shirt on <laughs> and I'm ready to just hit the button, record the video, do all this. But I'm, I'm convinced that the computers are sentient. Before we get started here, I'm going to be making a video using analyzer tools to show you how to make and find wholesale products for Amazon. So after I begin this little rant in the beginning, we'll get into that video. But I went to every time I turn on this thing, it should just turn turn on the camera, turn on the equipment. The settings have changed. I I started it up and it's all boxed in the video is recording from the camera instead of this. So I have to redo <laughs> everything every time. So I guess I guess what we're what I'm saying here is AI is sentient and it is already running us because every time I turn this on, all the computers and everything are different. But just your first time here, I am David Wright. I have a YouTube channel called Dave Wright the Capitalist where I share uh, some DeFi stuff, some stuff on uh, Amazon, I'm going to start doing Amazon reviews. I used to do Instacart and side hustle stuff during the pandemic. That's where some of you know me from. I no longer do that. I live in New Hampshire and I've kind of changed it up a little bit, but please follow me. Please follow me here if you're looking for some side hustles and income and stuff. Today we're going to be using analyzer tools. Let me just make sure that this volume is off in the background and this is off here. Perfect. We're going to be using a software called Analyzer Tools along with Jungle Scout um, and Keepa and a few other softwares that I'll get into. And we're going to use that software. These links can all be found on the homepage of my thing or in the description of the video below. But we're going to be using that software to find products that you never have to touch that you can buy either through email or through a portal, or you can call a sales representative, we'll get into that, and have them label, ship, and send all this merchandise to warehouses around the country, around your continent, depending on where you live, and you never have to touch them. And if, you've, if you find a product that is rare, the difference between what you pay and the fees for the buyer and becomes the demand, you get that excess money as profit. We'll go into that a little bit about how you want to find that stuff, but I'm going to show you all the softwares, all the techniques. As far as opening an Amazon seller account, you're a smart individual. You can, you know how to use the internet. You know how to use YouTube. You can figure that out. One thing that I will say is don't let money hold you back because it is free to start an Amazon seller account. What they'll do is for every product that you sell, they'll charge you an additional 99 cents. Uh, so the upfront investment is the products that you purchase. Once you start selling 40 a month, switch to a professional account because a professional account is $39.99, which means if you're selling more than 40 items a month and each item's costing you a dollar, it's more, you're more profitable to switch over to the professional account. And if you switch to the professional account, and then you take a break, you can turn it down to the, the personal account and vice versa. So you can switch it back and forth, although I don't recommend that. Anyways, let me get a little, little sip of the waters here. So if you guys know me, I, I like to be very authentic here. So I'm going to show you the process. I'm not going to edit this. I'm not going to put fancy music. We're going to build, we're going to build a relationship here. Okay, folks? <laughs> And then if these catch on, we can actually start doing some live streams and we can do stuff in real time, help you guys make some money. I know people are having a tough time uh, in, the, in this current economy figuring out an income. So I know this is a big beginning to start. We're five minutes in, but let me just ask you one more favor here too. I actually do all this to promote my philosophy channel when I'm getting off the ground, which you can find at Dave Wright, the thinker.com. There is a uh, bar here 
we could put something in like business and hit search. And if that was a topic that you were interested in, this will pull up all the videos that I made that encompass that. Uh, but anyways, let's forget about that for a second. I'm just going to go over to ChatGPT for, for a second and ask it a question. What does the average American need to make in one day to, 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 to survive is such a crazy word. Pay their bills. And let's see what Amazon says for us here. Okay, so we it, it today is 8-12-2024. It's approximately 3.55 p.m. as I record this Eastern Standard Time. And ChatGPT says the average American needs to make $180 to $200 per day to cover their basic living expenses. This estimate is based on a typical monthly expenses like rent, mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, health care, and other essentials. Here's a quick breakdown. Now, this is ChatGPT. This is the 4.0, so this does have access to the internet. This is not the version that doesn't search the internet, but it is. Here's a quick breakdown. They're saying for your housing, most people are paying $1,200 to $1,800 per month, $40 to $60 a day. Utilities is another $150, $300 a month. That's $5 to $10 a day. Groceries are $300 to $500 per month, $10 to $17 a day. Transportation, $300 to $600 a month, which is $10 to $20 a day. Health insurance, $400 to $600 per month, which is $13 to $20 a day. And others' extensions, essentials, including internet, phone, etc., is $200 to $400 per month which is 7 to $13 a day. This does not include fun. <laughs> this is without fun. Um, so, all right. So why don't we go on the high end here? $200 a day. Why don't we see if I can find $200 worth of profit on the, on the internet for you? So the first thing that I want you to do and man, I am parched. I, I've been in the woods all morning, and then I went hiking. I mean, been in the woods all morning hiking, then I went to the gym, and I haven't got enough water in, so please bear with me. I guess it doesn't help that I'm a speedy New England talker. So... The stuff that I'm going to share you here, a lot of people don't share this. They feel like uh, it's going to increase the competition, uh, hurt them, so on and so forth. But I'm going to show it to you because I believe that uh, most people don't follow through. So if you're the type of person that follows through, please do. And if and if you do, please help me out by comp and commenting, sharing, liking this if it helped you. Uh, but... This is a site called WholesaleCentral.com. So it's free to come here and start an account. There's other similar sites, but this is a good place to get started. So I'm already logged in here. You want... Uh, so here's all the Amazon cat categories for the most part. And actually, we can go back to chat BT. Chat GPT. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Chat GPT. We can go back here and we can ask, say, let's say I am a new Amazon seller. What categories will I not be gated in? So when you start an Amazon account, there's going to be certain categories that you're going to be called gated. It's called an Amazon. Basically, this means you need to unlock that category either multiple times in portions or what may you. So you may need to ungate in kitchen, and then you might need to ungate in a brand like Cuisinart or Calfin 
or uh, frigid air or something like that. So you have to get multiple. And then they might be even layers on that. So sometimes you'll get up to three things that you need to unlock. And they might even have serial numbers. So you have to do three things plus put in what's called a 2D code. So what I've just asked ChatGPT here is what is the categories that an individual like you that's just starting will be ungated in you should be able to sell them without any restrictions. So you can do this as well, but chat GP, chat GPT kicked back to me that books. So I started in books. A good thing to do if you have a lot of time on your hands and not money is you can go to thrift stores. I went to savers all over the place. I built routes. You can go online and you can, um, there's a site which will uh, create a route for you. Uh, what's the one that I use? Let me see if I can find it here. Maybe I put it underneath my saved files. Yeah, right here. I use Route XL. You don't even need an account. You put in your starting address here and the other addresses that you're going to go to and then your and then your home address and you hit search and this will create a route for you. So that it's super efficient for where you're going, but you could go on to uh, and look up uh, Savers. I'm in New Hampshire. I started in Massachusetts. Do we even have Savers up here in uh, thrift stores? Stores Savers thrift store. So I'm sure you have something similar to this. So we do have one in Manchester here. So we go to the website here. You could go to Savers. You could go to find a store. And you could put in all the stores in your particular area for this into this route thing and create a schedule for yourself to go to. And then you could go there and scan the ISBN numbers, which is the equivalent to UPC code. Let's find something I have here with the UPC code on it. Well, I'm sure you guys are familiar with what a UPC code is. It's basically a little barcode on the back of products. Books have one called ISBN, which is the book equivalent. You can scan those, and most books are accessible in the used category, and you can sell used books graded on Amazon and make a huge profit. I was buying books for a quarter, and some of them would sell for $25 to $30, and it would cost me $0.55 cents to ship them in. So for like a $1.50 investment, I could make 30 bucks. And so I would go into Savers at the time, and I was trying to find $150 worth of profit a day just making these routes. Uh, and going to save us. Next is Homeless ki Kitchen on this on this list. Toys and games, electronics, clothing, shoes, and accessories, beauty, health and personal care, sports and outdoors, pet supplies, and tools and home improvement. I would suggest a new person do books um, graded properly, meaning when you get the book, you see if it's good condition, okay condition, very good condition. Home and kitchen can be difficult because you need to do brands, but I would recommend home and kitchen. Toys and games are going to be a little hard when you stop because stuff like Lego, Barbie, Mattel, Parker Brothers, Monopoly have multiple gating processes. And although some of these wholesale receipts will work, others won't. So you might run into a lot of dead ends, but we'll get into that. Electronics is very competitive and it's usually very expensive. You can make a decent profit, but it can all get eaten up. So say you're buying electronics for $100 a piece and you make $50 a piece on them. But if one gets destroyed and returned, you're losing profit on two of them. So it's very difficult to uh, get a long-term profit if these returns or damages and stuff. Clothing, shoes, and accessories is a huge category, a multi-million, maybe even a billion-dollar industry on Amazon. Um, but it's also very competitive, and then you got to figure out how to get unlocked. And I can make some videos on this in the future, but get unlocked in Adidas, Nike, and the sportswear and stuff like that. There is some generic shoes and stuff. Um, and some of the stuff, when you scan it with your phone or you put it into 
your Amazon product thing, which I'll show you, it'll auto ungate. And when you start selling stuff, stuff will get ungated for no reason. Like for somehow I got ungated in Canon cameras just from having a good, good record. Uh, beauty is super competitive. I would probably stay away from that. Healthcare and personal care is good. Sport and out stores, not a huge category. Pet supplies, I would stay away from because there is some implications with insurance as well as baby uh, baby stuff. So I'd stay away from those two categories when you first start. And then tools and home improvement are a good starter care category as well. So I'm going to go back to Wholesale Central. And the reason this is set up really well is because if you see right here, there's a button that says Amazon FBA supplier. So these are suppliers that do all sorts of stuff, but some of them are categorized that they specifically work with Amazon FBA. So if you click on this, bam, these are all categories from people that deal with Amazon FBA. Now that means this means a couple of things though. So here's what we got to look for with these sites. So once you pull this up and I would open all these tabs, I would do it systematically. You might even build a spreadsheet to go through all these sites because you're going to try to email them and set up accounts with them. Some of them are going to require an LLC and an EIN number, um, which you're probably not going to have when you first start and you're trying this out. Others will just need your name, email address, and a phone number. Um, some of them will ship directly to Amazon for you and they'll label the products. Others won't ship directly to them, which means you would have to use a third party and they have these third party companies that you can call prep center. So you would ship from the wholesaler to the prep center, then to Amazon. If you're just starting out, what you're looking for with these is you're looking for, uh, you know, let's go back here. You want to find companies that are going to sell you, you know, books, home and kitchen, toys, stuff that you'll have access to that you don't have to touch, that they'll ship from their facilities to Amazon for you. And then you could have Amazon prep and label them if, if need be. And then you can just wash your hands so you don't need to, to touch any of it. So that would be the key product for you. All right. So. We'll go to the first one here. So this is palletfly.com. And let's open this up on another page. One second. So <coughs> I'm on the Palletfly website. I am going to log into my account. Feel free to email me. Once you're here, you want to go when you're <coughs> <coughs> once you're here, if you don't know, I happen to know that these this site does have Excel spreadsheets. So they'll either call it a Excel spreadsheet, which is a uh, HTXM or L or whatever dot file or a CSV file. Basically, either of those will work to punch into a software like Analyzer Tools. And to figure that out, a lot of times you can go down to the FAQ and look at the frequently asked questions. So if we go here and we read this, it does say that they will ship directly to FBA or your prep center or your warehouse or to a residential location. So if you try to get ungated in something, they will ship it to your house so that you can take pictures of it, photos, and send in the thing. This will cost a little bit extra because you'll pay for shipping to go from their facility to your house. Then you'll have to deal with it, and then you'll have to pay shipping again to Amazon. But if it's something where you're waiting to get ungated in and you can buy it over and over again, that might be good to open up that avenue for yourself. Um, what we're looking for is if they have a spreadsheet and here it is, can you, uh, can I have a, a product spreadsheet I can download? Yes, please click here. Bam. So now we're on Palletfly. You found that this particular site 
will ship to Amazon for you. And they have this spreadsheet here. So we're going to download this to my disk, to my desktop. Now we have all their products on a spreadsheet on our computer. So let's take a look at, I don't know what this is. My computer's just downloading stuff in the background. All right. So this is the pallet fly listing. And actually what I do, what I do here is I want to rename this pallet fly. So I know what company it is. And I'm going to put uh, the date in there. So I know which day I downloaded it on. So now when I upload this file into Analyzer Tools, I'll have a, a list of it. So let's just clear this, clean this out a little bit. So when you open this up, uh oh, let's undo that. All right. So we have the pallet fly number here. This is the product description. I'm going to leave that there. Here's the brands. So the important ones for us are right here. They're ASIN, UPC, MOQ, which is the minimum water quantity. And then we need the price per unit. So unit, what is this right here? That's the unit per case. We don't need that. Here's the price right here. So we have a row for price. Okay. I'll just highlight that to make it easier. We have ASIN, UPC, and minimum water quantity, which are important. And what I like to do when I'm in this spot is just look. And it looks like, so we're missing a UPC here, missing a UPC here. It looks like as I look down this list, they have all the ASINs in place, which is the Amazon... Um, Let's get this exact. Let's get this exactly right. Let's get this exactly right. Um, what does Amazon? It's their identification number, but I always forget the exact meaning. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. <laughs> it's the Amazon standard identification number. I got to turn, turn the megaphone off. So, yeah. So, it's the Amazon standard identification number. And once we have this list, we have that price, we have the minimum order quantity. Sometimes you won't have it. The reason we got to go into the spreadsheet like this is sometimes this won't be labeled. It'll be labeled like part number. And so, you have to change this so that the software can read it. So... We're going to scan this sheet by ASIN. We're going to use a special minimum water quantity. This will tell us how many we have to buy and the price. So those are our three main categories that we need. They're there already for us. Sometimes they're not. So we have to edit the, the, the spreadsheet. In this case, they've done it for us because Palletfly is a pretty good and reputable country, uh, company. So let's save all this. We'll shut this down. We're going to open up the analyzer tools. So if you go over to my site and you decide to use this, use my link right here to analyzer tools. And let's see what, what's, you're going to get a little, little discount here for signing up through my link. I think you're going to get a free week or two free weeks. I forget what it is. You're getting something through this, this affiliate link as a discount or a promo. Uh, well, I'm getting 20%. So if you want to help me, <laughs> but I think you're getting a free week, uh, or a free two weeks. Uh, but you do have to put your credit card in. So be ready, be ready. Don't just use this willy nilly, set yourself up mentally, watch a couple videos and get, and get ready for this. But so here's the analyzer tool. You sign in in this top corner here, you're going to hit new scan. And you're going to process a spreadsheet. You can either drag and drop it here or you can select it. So we're going to select from my desktop this spreadsheet that we just worked with. Boom. 
All right, here we go. Now we decided that we're going to use the product idea is the ASIN. It gives you the choice to use an ISBN if you were doing books or UPC or EAN, which is the European equivalent to a UPC. But we're going to be doing the ASIN because if you remember when we looked at that spreadsheet, all the ASINs were filled in, but some of the UPC code. So again, you want to make sure here that you're telling it where to go. So you're going to be identifying it by an ASIN, and then it's asking you what column that's in. And it's in the column marked ASIN. And then the cost column, we want to put, this is saying the gross profit dollar. That's not what we want. We want price, so we're going to change that to price. And then a reference column, this is where I... I put in minimum order quantity. And the reason why is if some if you're buying a pallet or something and you have to buy 10,000 of them, but it, it only sells 1,000 of them a month, you'd be buying 10 years of them. So you want that minimum order quantity. I want an email notification when it's finished. And I'm going to, because I have the pro version, I'm going to enable premium data, which is going to pull a lot of data that we normally have to do manual manually to the spreadsheet. And then you hit process, and this is going to start immediately processing that file. Now, this is going to take a little bit, a little bit, baby. So I could have got this started a little bit earlier. But we can go through a little things why this is scanning, while this is scanning. And we're going to go back to, let me shut down the thrift store savers, route, keep Amazon up. This is scanning. We got 23% processed. I'll get an email there. We got the, So let's just go back to, 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 to Wholesale Central while that is waiting to me an email. And let's check out Coral Port Distribution, which I'm not familiar with, but it says right here, we provide wholesale products to Amazon sellers Office and school supplies, electronics, home and health, cleaning supplies, general merchandise, and more. 30 daily deals per day. And then 220K plus brand names in direct shipping to Amazon and prep service. So let's visit their website. This is what I would do if I was checking this out. And I've never worked with Coral before. So first things first, I look right on the main screen here and see if they have a sheet to download. I don't particularly see anything right off the bat. I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom and find the frequently asked questions. Do you provide a detailed invoice? We're sending detailed invoice if you request it. So if, what this means is if you need an in, a detailed invoice to send to Amazon to get ungated because you're gated in a product, they will provide it. But these sites, they don't. Um, guarantee that, that that the invoice will work. So sometimes you'll get into a situation where you use this to try to get ungated and you can't, but you've bought the product and the product is non-refundable, non-returnable, which means then you would have to put it on eBay or something, another site to sell it. So you want to make sure you check that out. Um, how, do, uh, how much time do you have to make the payment? It says stocks are changing in city, delay in a payment, May cause stock problems. So basically, they want to. They do have prep services. They do ship directly to Amazon. It ships within five to eight business days. You can check our return policy by clicking the, this link. They do not send purchases unless you ask. They do not provide authorization letters. So I'm not seeing anything here about the spreadsheet. So we got to figure out if they can, if you can get a spreadsheet. So let's go to all products. Sometimes when you go to the product sheet, they will have a download button for the spreadsheet, and I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that, I'm not seeing that. Okay, so 
what I would do next, what I would do next is contact these individuals. And I'm going to put in my information here. My email address for my business. No order number. Uh, yes, I agree. I'm not a robot. So this is another use of ChatGPT. The name of this company. So say you're not good with business. So you're not good. You're not good, so good with the words, right? This is Coral Port, and you just say, "I need." Help contacting Coral Port. Can you help me with an email? I'm an Amazon seller and I want to know if they require. You would ask if they require an LLC or an EIN. I'm just going to say I'm an Amazon seller and I want to know if you have a CSV or spreadsheet catalog. And then when I hit enter, it's going to say, sure, here's the subject. It's going to create it for me. It looks a little bit long, but it's all right. We're gonna we can fix that in the thing. So we're over here in contest us. We're gonna scroll to the top. I don't care if it finds them well. So we'll delete that. My name is Dave. Actually, I'm going to use another program here because this is frustrating me. So I also use a program called Grammarly, which you can create documents here. So I would paste this in here. Bam. It's going to just fix some of this. Fix some of this for you. So here's my subject. AI is your friend, people. So... I don't really need a subject line, so we'll get rid of the subject line. When I ask the Coral team, we don't really need help. My name is Dave. I'm an Amazon seller and ex interested in exploring your products and potential inclusive online store to streamline the process. Like to know if you have a CSV or file catalog, the details your products offering, including SKUs, description, pricing, blah blah blah. blah, blah. And then I'm probably just going to put best regards. Looks good. Copy this over here. Control A, delete it all, paste it all. Bam, I look like a complete professional. Best regards. Dave, I am not the robot. Let's see. Just, you know, I actually am a robot and I just tricked you. Contact list. All right, so now we submit submitted that. My message is successful. Now I'm going to sit back and wait for Coral Port. Maybe they get in touch with me, and now if they do have a spreadsheet, I can add it. I, the, the way, what I'll actually do is I have different um, – where do I put this? Amazon. So I put this in my wholesale bookmarks. So I have a list here of wholesalers with CSV files, with no CSV files, that don't ship to Amazon but do, that don't ship to Amazon and don't, my new leads that I'm working on, my prep centers. So I have all these links here that I'm working on to find new products all the time. But anyways, let's get back to the mission. We're on a mission. We're trying to find $200 per day, basically. It's our living expenses here, and we're 34 minutes in into it. So let's check. Let's check with our analyzer tools. Bam. Spreadsheet palette fly is done. Let's open this up now. 
Now, I have created a system for myself. When you first do this, you'll have a standard view that looks something like this, which is going to put the ASINs over here. It's going to have favorites, which I recommend you use. I'll show you. It's going to have the products and the brands and the packaging and the pricing. It's going to have the sales. It's going to have a link to Amazon. So it's got tons and tons and tons of data here, including whether it's Hatters is this and the minimum order quantities and, and such. So you can move these all around. Uh, this is not a video. I can do a video in the future how I created these spreadsheets and move them around. But I've created these pre things and and. I have them in particular order so that my top of the line, my tier one is stuff that makes a 301% to a 400% return on investment. And if you look at this, when I pull that up, I actually have from the data here, it's showing me that I might have five items here that make a, a 300 to an 800% return on investment. So first of all, what I want to look at is minimum order quantity. So I'm going to sort by the minimum order quantity, make sure there is stuff in stock. So they actually have stuff here. If this is zero, it means usually that it's out of stock, but this has actually got minimum order quantities. So now in these categories, if you can see, there's here's the ASIN. Here is uh, how I'll favorite it. I've actually filtered it. You can have hazardous materials, and that's a category that you can make money on. But I choose not to do hazardous. I don't know why I lean in like this to the mic. I don't need to. It hears me perfectly fine when I stand up like this. But here's hazardous materials. This are no hazardous mater materials. Um, and here's the categories. So this pulled the data from Amazon, too. I'll show you how you can do it manually here in a second, but this, but I had it do a little bit longer and pull the stuff. So this is showing me how much it cost for the item. This is how much it sells for. And this is the and this is the average buy in the past 90 days. So when I look at this right away, there's a couple of things that just strike me in my head. So 175 is a really cheap price. And I'd be really surprised if this wasn't some sort of bundle um, that's selling, meaning like it's a bundle of four or five or six. This currently has a packaging quantity of one here. So should I do that in a second? So it's saying that this is a $1.75 selling for $14.99. But the software is already pulling and saying typically this sells for $7.18. So this is like double the price. Because the profit margin is so high, it's 400% return, I'm still going to look into this. But if this was like a 10% thing, and there was this thing, I you can change this to what the 90 day is and not even look at it. But because we're doing a video here, let me show you what you do. So what you're going to do is you click on this Amazon thing, and this is going to bring up this particular item and show you what it is on the Amazon website. So this is interesting. These are, it looks like they're eyelash curling refills. No idea what these are, but it does not matter because we can see here, this is the Jungle Scout turnout. Here's the ASIN. These sell about approximately three a day, 139 units a month. And it looks like even though it's saying they're selling for $14.99, I'm looking right here. This is selling for $7.98. And this is selling for $14.99, so that's probably why. And then this is the Keepa K-E-E-P-A box. If we go to the data here on this Keepa, and you can download... So if you want to get Jungle Scout in the future, make sure that you use my link here to Jungle Scout. I think you'll get 14 days or something free. I'm not sure. Just just tell me out here. Guys, I'm dying out here. <laughs> so uh, 
when you're here, this this is Keeper, this is free. I think it's like $19.99 for the extended version. For the basic version, it's free. You can download this today and mess around with it. You can use this when you buy stuff. If you want to see the price is too high in a particular item, this is available for you when you're buying stuff. But in the past 90 days, this has been selling for about $720. $798 is the current price, whatever. So this particular $1499 sell price is really high. It's getting a false price because it pulled the buy box from this other person here. And the reason they have the price jacked up because there's none in stock. So there's a couple of things with this item. One, it only sells 139 units a month. And our minimum order quantity is 1224. So if we were the only person on this listing right? And there's three of us, but just say we're the only one and we were selling 139 a month and we have to buy 1224. We're doing 1224 divided by 139. If everything went well, we'd be buying almost nine months worth of merchandise. So this product is it's not a good Amazon product. Maybe you could sell this in your beauty store. Maybe you could buy this and put it on Walmart and Amazon and eBay and Facebook Marketplace and all this other stuff. But for us, where we're just looking for Amazon, and I know I'm, I'm going through this in great detail. We're 40 minutes in, but we'll have chapters below. You can fast forward, rewind. This is free schooling, baby. You're going to be making some money soon, so don't worry about it, Okay. So for me, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put that price to that 718. And when I hit that button, it's going to take that price. It's it's not profitable anymore, at least not at that price. And now, because we're intelligent in the future, we would pr probably know that these other two 175s are similar products. But I'm just going to pop them up just to show you. You pop this up here. Okay, it's, it is something different. Interesting. Okay, so this particular one is a variation list. And good, 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 good. Here we are. I mean, even at 42 minutes in, we haven't found anything. With me explaining all this, it's taking quite a bit of time. But if this was your job, you just woke up in the morning, rolled out of bed and got a coffee and came in and... Uh, started doing this could you see how pretty simple this is i could have a podcast on right now i could have some music uh it's a pretty good pretty good gig um so these only sell 55 a month and these have uh what four eight on the listing so with these you go down here to variations and you're looking at bright orange and these bright oranges sell uh, they don't even have a percentage here. Yeah, I'm not even seeing their, their review percentage. So, all right, 2.2%. So of the 55, 2.2% of them are, so it's, it's, it's not a lot. So you're not looking at a high ranking for this. So for me, the way I get rid of this is, not get rid of it, but label it because it'll remember this. And when I look at this palette fly in the future, I won't have to look at this one again because I'm going to go over here to my favorites and I'm going to select some that I created. And I created one that says low ranking. So this has a low ranking. So I'm going to put that in there and add it. And now I know when I click on this, in the future, it'll say low ranking, and I'll know not to worry about that particular one. So on to the next year. We're at 652, 1375, and 175. Let's see what this is. It's a similar thing. It's in the same thing. It's in the same board. We're going to go back here. This is a low, uh, low ranking. On to the next. Now, typically in 90 days, this is saying 1446. This is saying 2131. These are pretty reliable. So a lot of times you can just go here 
and change that pr this price to that price. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to go through and we're going to look at it a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to open this up. And this is parachute gold. It looks like some sort of coconut hair oil. It sells 606 a month, 22 units. Let's go down here and let's look at the ver uh, the data, the data. Because it doesn't necessarily mean just because over the past 90 days. So here it did sell for 1456 over the past 90 days and it's currently selling for 2131, which is why you're getting this price here. If we look at the price history we can see that it was on. It's on a decline. It's sold as high as forty-one in the past, but it's coming down here. It looks like it's a bit huge variation. So we have three main listings here, and then all these different sizes. So if we go into the variation listing now, it's like okay, what are we looking at? We're looking at. 13.52, hopefully, 13.52 one packs. And if you get in the, in the variation here, what's this? This is 13.52 one packs. So that is it right there. Approaching to one pack, and that does make up 97.58% of the sales. So a good portion of these sales are that. It's the number one seller. We're going to go in here. We're going to filter this. Now, this is curious to me. It is only being sold FBM. There's no FBA. So I wonder if this is something that can't be shipped in the FBA. It can't be shipped in to maybe because it's like a pressure-treated bottle or something. So let's go back here. Let's look at the price history, variations, data. It doesn't look like it's ever been FBA. It's only FBM. So we're going to copy this copy this ASIN here, and I'm going to open up my Amazon products, and I'm going to put in the type that ASIN into Amazon, and I'm going to say I'm going to add this product, and I'm going to try to sell this new show limitations, sell this product. This is interesting because it appears that it'll let me ship it into Amazon, but no one is. So let's go and see. Test the magic internet. <sighs> yeah, so this is just giving me generic information. So I would be personally a little bit worried that there's no, that that is not FBA and it never has been. This bottle is very similar, and it is FBA, so this one might be fine, but you could run into an issue that that's not. However, everybody else could be thinking that too, and in which case, uh, in which case, you could be making a lot of money on this particular uh Product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Amazon account here. And I'm going to ask for help. 
and they want to get help and and resources. Inventory loss in the warehouse, no. Brand update, no. Adding a product, inventory damage, listing not viable, FBA returns, title description, inventory missing. So we're going to ask, when it, my issue is not found, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, could you please tell me if I can sell, put the ASIN in here as an FBM product. If not, please let me know why. Know why it is only FBM. So I can ask a question here to Amazon. Hit continue. Listing not active in display. I'm going to just put this up as check if it needs hazmat review. Look up ASIN. Dangerous good program. Yeah, so let's look up the ASIN here. Continue. So it is saying that we can sell this through the Amazon. Uh, I need to get like a roller coaster chair where I can strap in and be like, and be sitting upright the whole time and not lean into the mic. But it said this product is good. It's good to go. So now that we know it is good to go and that it sells a lot and that we can get it for $275, we need to make sure that it's a one unit, which it is. It's one unit here, and they're selling one unit there. Let's find out what the average 30-day price actually is. I mean, the actual 90-day price. So it's fourteen sixty-five. Now, we might be able to get it a little bit higher if we're the only one in FBA, but we want to be conservative here. So... We're going to drop this down to 1446, and it's probably going to come off of this screen here, which, yeah, I suspected. But we'll go back to it when we get to that thing, when we get to that page. And again, we'd be doing this quick, quick, quick. I'm taking almost an hour here to find this. Uh, but you would, be, you would be pretty speedy at this once you get used to it. Here's Glade. This is a, a four pack, thirteen forty nine. Again, price too high. The F, the FBA is pretty cheap. The actual price has been eleven fifty two. All right. So both of these on this first page, no good. I go to the next page. That was three hundred to four hundred percent. We're gonna go two hundred one to four hundred percent. And we got our favorites here. Let's go by the highest RP, uh, ROI, which is return on investment. This was selling for seven seven twenty two. They're saying fourteen ninety nine. Let's pull this up. What is it? Huge variation. Don't want to deal with it. So I immediately go over here, and I'm going to speed. I'm going to start speeding this up and show you how quickly I go. That's a low rank item. Not interested. This one. 1170, 1708. Okay, let's look at it. It makes 293% return. Another one. Lots of variations here. Glitter. Do I really want to deal with glitter? I don't think so. Bam. I'm going to say low ranking again, so I don't have to look at this in the future. We're down to the next year. 288. This is highly exaggerated. 38 currently typically sold over the last three months at 1665 we can get it for seven what are, what are we looking at here people multi hair nail and skins see buying options all right so we got one person here that's jacking up the price these sell about 149 a month we come down here this was something that Amazon sold let's look at the data in the last 180 days was 15, 16, 70. 
in the past 90 days. So if Amazon jumps back in, it's about $16.99. It looks like Amazon has been off of this listing since January. So we got almost eight months now. Uh, it's selling 149 month, uh, units a month. Let's just go to my Amazon, make sure I can sell it. So we're going to add a product here. Put this listing in. Submit. Not available for me to sell. All right. So we're going to go back to the analyzer tools here. And we're going to put not available restricted. Next, we're at 1220, 1592, 230%. And if you look over here too, we're, we'd have to buy a thousand of these, but it does show you the ranking. I don't know what these are, but you can see huge variation here, lots of drop down stuff. That stuff is usually. If you really want to dig into it when you get good, it is kind of you can make a lot of money, but it's 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 a frustrating. I got a feeling that it's not that big of a return and you have to hold those for a while and that's a huge minimum quantity. Considering on this particular one, even if this was the highest one and this one was flying off the shelf based on come on. Come on. There we go. Based on 243 sales, you you, got, you would have to buy months and months of that to go. All right, so on to the next one, 1052, 1499. What are we looking at here, people? Make you some money. Again, variation, even if this is the biggest, biggest seller or whatever, we got to buy 2,700 of them. They're selling 992 a month. I'm all set. I'm all set, people. Come on. Uh, let's go high minimum quantity on that one. Off to the next. Off to the next. Double the price. So we got to make sure we get the right price here. Well, let's look at this one is. All right. So this is Bedhead. Yeah, I, I've actually sold some Bedhead products in the past, and they sell pretty well. But I have had IP complaints. It looks like Amazon was on this listing here. I'm not seeing any IP complaints, so it usually would pop up. So I have a thing here that usually shows me IP complaints. And it didn't pop up on the screen. So maybe they're not giving IP complaints on this one. But also, let's just check real quick. Can I sell it? I can sell it. It sells pretty quick. It looks like it sells 90 a month. And we'd have to buy 250. So even if we absolutely controlled that listing, 250 divided by 90 is you're going to be doing almost three months, right? So as long as you feel comfortable putting three months worth of product out there, knowing that it might even take a month to get in there, so it's really four four months of of products. But I'm not done with this yet. We'd be going against one high-priced individual, two, three. So maybe this is a rare item. Go back to the price history here. So Amazon had it at 12, and they've already – they have been out since February. They've jumped back and forth a little bit. So typically this is fifteen ninety eight, and that's even lower than that at ten eighteen. Um, I personally wouldn't – wouldn't get into this. It's $14.99. I'm going to put it there. It'll go to the next spreadsheet. So now we're on to the next. And we're chopping away at this, chopping away. We're at, this was 200 or 300. I'm at 100 to 200% return. And now we're getting into bigger spreadsheets with more information and data. So you can see why it's important to go through this stuff uh, quickly. So if you don't have that much money to spend, I would sort by minimum order quantity. And try to get the the lower end stuff up top. I'm going to sort by return on investment. And let's look right here. What do we got? Office products. Not a huge office products fan, but let's just look at it. It looks like 
just a couple of people on this listing. This is Prima Color Store, so it's not sold by the same person. 42 units a month. We would have to buy, yeah, we have to buy like 4,000 of them. So that's not happening, people. It's got a high minimum order quantity. Next. So you can also filter this right here by no favorites. And so that will take the ones off the last sheet that you've already done. You can still find these in the future. But when I'm looking at them right now, I won't have to look at the favorites. I appreciate you sticking around. We just hit the one hour mark. So if my camera doesn't overheat and turn off, I'm going to keep going. But this should be a great video for you to go through and figure this stuff out and look at. And like I said, we're going to post timestamps below and you can keep going through. But this is real time. This would be one hour of work, probably about 30 minutes if I wasn't recording and going through all this stuff for you. But this is 1762, 2021 is what you're looking at. And we're just going to go here again. Here's a beauty product. Too many variations. So right off the bat, I'm just going to put, for me, when it's too many variations, I put, I mean, I guess you could, I could put it as variations because it doesn't mean that it's bad. Uh, here we go again. Three variations. Okay, so these, these I can already tell this is one of those high-end products. Amazon was on the listing. So let's just see if Amazon shares the buy box. All right, so Amazon does actually share the buy box a little bit with the beauty company, about three to one. Let's just make sure that they're not the person that sells it so it's amazon here make sure the owner of the listing's not on and let me see if i can actually sell it if i wanted to i'm guessing no i'm guessing that that's a conglomerate and yeah in amazon on the listing so here we go i knew that was going to be a, a high price thing so this one right here not available restricted and so that's different than gated. Not available restricted means for some reason the owner doesn't let you sell it or it's a, a chemical or a hazard or something. So let's go here. Don't like these vari variations. So you can see how this will start to get quicker and quicker as you start doing this. And I'm doing it in real time because you can. I can make a video for you. I can make a video that, you know, prefab, edited, a shortcut, it's unrealistic with music and drones, uh, drone shots and stuff above. Mm, this is a meltable. I probably don't want to do meltables in the summertime. I'm going to call it a variation. And you're just going to go through. And as you start doing this, though, every one of these items, I do it once. You never have to relook at it again. So here we go. We got a toy here, Blue's Clues. Four variations. This particular one, they sell 78 a month overall. These are, this is A. So let's go down to the variations here and see how popular this particular variation is on this blue screws toys. Blue screws. Come on, Keepa. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened to Keepa? <laughs> Come on, Keepa. Why you yeah. Why are you doing this to me, Kiva? Some so keep keep us like end the video, bro. It ain't happening today, bro. Bro, let's try this again. I paid good money, Keepa. I I mean, I actually have to take my Keepa, and uh, so we're looking at the variations here, and I got it. It's in the UK, so I have to pay a service fee. So we're looking at. A, which is what? Blue's Clue, five pack, the pink dog in the top left hand corner, and the blue dog in the bottom left hand corner. So it's this one right here. That's 16.87%, 78, so 80 times 16% is roughly 12 a month. And we'd have to split 12 a month with three other people 
So 12 divided by three is four a month you'd be selling. So this just doesn't have the volume that we need. So this, this particular one here is low ranking. And hopefully you can slow this down, speed it up, pause it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing in real time with this stuff. Just to show you, IP complaint, meaning this particular owner, Sony, does not want other people on the listing. So that's fine. We'll go here. We're going to IP alert. On to the next. And you're just quickly learning all this stuff. Oh, cold pods. Popular. Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan pods, baby. I'm going to hashtag this whole video, Joe Rogan pods, to get myself up in the algorithm. So let's just go to these variations here. We got three. This is the 85-gallon. It doesn't currently have any in. It looks like that's the most popular one, which is selling 93% of the time. So pretty much all six... 117 of those sales are that particular one. There's a lot of used ones on here, Cold Pod and Cold Pod Store. Okay, I'm glad that we came to this. So see this? There's no IP complaint, but this is Cold Pod Store versus the Cold Pod sold by. So if you come down here and you go to your data... And you look at buy box statistics, pretty much they control control this. And you can even look at uh, offers a lot of times and see that like when you see a, a, an offer that's somebody else. Okay, so Amazon resale was on there. You'll notice that the other people are disappearing and what's happening is they're getting a product complaint against them as a uh, a counterfeit. So you, you, so you want to try to stay away from those as well. So we're going to take this pod thing here. I'm just going to label it an IP alert. On to the next. Bam. All right, we got a toy. It's an individual toy. No variation. Sell 62 a month, but you're competing with Amazon. So before we even get into it, before we even get into it, let's just see if I can even sell it. I can sell it. So now we're going to go down to the data and look at the buy box statistics. And while that's loading, let's go over here and check this out. We're going to filter it by... FBM. So it looks like we have one, th we have four people already. We would make five. They've only really say, shared the buy box with one other person, but they have shared it. But we have 62 sales a month total divided by five people. If they really gave us our cut, we'd only be selling 12 a month. So this has just got too low of a volume for us. Uh, so we're going to call that low ranking. On to the next. I was hoping that I would find something here for you. Here's Peppermint Crunch. These are meltables. I don't want to deal with meltables. Meltables just means that if they ship them to the person for you uh, and they're like sitting on the porch, they can get damaged to the customer. It's, it's not worth having a customer pay for something and then it's getting damaged. IP alert. So this can be a little bit frustrating, but what you're what you're digging for, you're panning for, is an investment in gold. So if I were to find one of these products and I continuously can buy it, I'm essentially investing a couple hundred dollars to make a couple thousand dollars, and then I can come back to Powerfly and see if they have more stock and buy more and more. Um, but let's continue here. Here's glitter. So. I'm going to take that glitter. I'm going to put not interested there as a variation. Keep going. Keep going. Scissors by Fisca. I sold Fiskas in the past, but I think I'm not 100% sure. I think Fisca currently blocked people from selling their, their 
stuff because I was selling them and they stopped. All right, so this particular one I could buy. Fisca is a good scissor. They sell five twenty five a month, eighteen. But this is a variation listing, and we're looking at the eight inch ones. So let's go down here. Oh no! Why you why you fail? <laughs> Uh, so let's go back here. Come on, keeper, 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 keeper. I don't know what's going on with keeper. It's not usually like this. What did what you why you do this to me? I I record keeper on you. People, I'm trying to sell Keepa to people, and Keepa doesn't want to be sold. Let's try to, let's try this again. All right, we're on Amazon. I do have multiple things running on this. So I have the Jungle Scout, and this particular one that we haven't used yet is called, um, is another stock uh, one. So this shows me that this particular, uh-oh. Well, looks like we're going to do the rest of the show. Without a camera, I get about 110 minutes without the camera, with the camera to record before it shuts off from an overheat. So we're just going to do this verbally, but this will probably be a good time to shut it off. And then in the future, I'll have to figure, I'll have to figure something out with this uh, thing, but we'll still get, we'll still get audio. We'll figure out something with the camera in the future so it doesn't overheat because it doesn't feel warm. Doesn't feel warm, so maybe it just shuts it off on purpose after an hour. It does definitely feel like it went to low res, but who cares? Maybe I'll lower the res for the future. Um, this is just showing that the Amazon Global Store is 85, quantity 85, price 38, and that they have 85 left that I'd be competing with for this, and it sells 525 a month. So... I don't know why keep, but maybe this would be a good time to shut it off. I was hoping, I was hoping to actually do to find you guys uh two hundred dollars a day. A lot of times you can. A lot of times you can be in a situation where you find one product and it's making you two hundred dollars. Um, but here we are an hour and twelve minutes, and sometimes you don't find a product, I guess. Okay, we're back on keep uh, we're going to look at the variations because we're looking at the eight inch scissors a year out of four variations, which are the ones like that. So it's those. Those sell 36.76. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it lowered the resolu resolution. So I'll just lower the resolution for the. For, there's no reason to do this in 4K. You don't need to see my old ass in no 4K, people. Um, so 525 and 36%. So 525 times 36%. Uh, uh, 525 times 36% is 189 divided by 2 is 94 a month, which... There's one other person on the listing, which is Amazon Global. So we're going to do one last thing because it's an Amazon store. We're going to go to data and buy box here and see if there's any historical data that Amazon actually shared the buy box with somebody else. And it looks like they kind of have in the past. So it's not great, but it is some, and it was 24 days ago. So... Let's check this out. We're still going here. I can sell them. They have a good ranking. They currently sell. Let's get the current sale price. In the past 90 days, it was 2807. So we're going to put that. Uh, so we'll go with that 27. 99 that they got in there and it's going to remove it from the screen <laughs> so same thing here this one's high priced we'll go through this one 
There's too many variations. Maybe I should just settle in for a long video here instead of rushing and let it rushing another another variation. Because te technically, you'd be working eight hours plus commute. So if I could just find one product, and this video is less than eight hours, <laughs> you'd be in pretty good shape, right? Because I'm sitting on my ass getting fat. We got two two calculators here. Couple of calculators. Hey, we're a couple of calculators. And that's the more popular one, selling 60% of the time. So we got 600 times 60%. We got 360 units. What are the buying options? There's... Three people on it, we would make four, divide that by four. And we're at 90 units, so that's good money. Except it's saying 17, and it sells for 1760. These are all selling for like 10. Let's go down to the data for actual price and sale. Come on, come on, keep up. You can't let me keep up. 776. Eh? So let's say that it actually sells for $7.99. We're flying here, people. Too many variations. What do we got here? Call it out at home. You know what it is. Too many variations. And some of that stuff you might be willing to dig into. I'm looking for stuff that's pretty much a, a short file, and I like to go quick. All right, so right off the bat, this is probably something that's hazardous. I'm not interested in worrying about um, roach repellent and insect repellent, so I'm going to put this in to restricted. On to the next. Oh, geez. Oh, please, geez. V lots of variations. All right, here we go. So here we are. We're at 100 to 200. So we're going to be dropping this down to 70 to 80 percent return. And we got a whole new list here: favorites, false, and return on investment, and start all over again on this page. I guess I should just settle in. So something like this. As soon as I see this. <laughs> Don't do the voice at home. You know you want to do the voice. Don't do the voice, okay? Do it in your head, but don't do it out loud. These actually sell stuff like this. Uh, Asian cuisine, a lot of people buy Asian cuisine online. So if you find a good product like this that you can get a lot of, we, got, we would be selling number four. It sells 67 a month. So right off the bat there, we'd only be selling 16 a month. And each one of those, actually, they're currently selling for less than what that is. So the average price is 32. So we don't lose it. It stays up top. We're making pay five, sell it for 32. So our profit would be, say, $9 after shipping. And I do have the filters for shipping in there, but I'm just trying to be easy. So 16 times 9 is 144 All right. My camera. No signal on my camera. I will figure the camera out in the future. I think I'm going to lower the resolution down. It's not even warm, but it's it's saying that it's overheating, probably for safety purposes. But, all right, so this particular one, we finally did it, folks. This particular item, if we can continue to buy it, would make, so let's turn the, turn the falseness off. This particular item right here 
Let's click it off. This makes a, could make $144 a day, and this falls within this particular range, 70 to 100%. It's actually 188 So actually, let's change that. We want to change that. Uh, from 100 to 200 percent. All right. So now minimum order quantity is 1944. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Because what did I say? Yeah. So that's the minimum order quantity is too high. Boo. Boo. <laughs> All right, so we didn't find one, folks. Uh, minimum order quantity I. Go back here. Let's look at non-favorites. All right, on to the next. I hope you're learning something here. There's tons in here because I'm going through different products and I'm making different decisions on each one. So you should be learning stuff, even though I'm messing around with the camera and stuff. That's a vari variation listing, not interested. You can, like I said, break down variations. They're just a lot riskier than the single unit ones. This is another variation I don't want to deal with. I should just like live stream this for four hours. So we've got two bacon pans here. What American buys and what American buys. They sell 232 a month. Okay, okay. Looking good. Looking good. Let's make sure I can sell this. Let's make sure I can sell this. It sells a lot and I can sell it. We're looking good, people. Let's go here. Let's go down to the data. It's typical sales. Okay, well there, well, well there's your problem. Typical sales for fourteen ninety nine. So we're gonna lose that cash back percentage. So a lot of times you can do this too. This is typically what I would do. I trust this pull. So I would change this to the actual price that's next to it. To speed through, so I'm not opening all this stuff up. This one has to be open because we don't have an average price. So we have to put the average price in this particular one. But this is a variation, so we are not interested. Uh, 73. So 73. This price is actually where it needs to be. So let's take a look at this. IP complaint. I know you're getting frustrated, but just think about how many products you're looking through right now. Every product you, you, that you find that you can't, I'm going to just turn the camera off for a while. You can just listen to my lovely voice. Um, I should make just a full dis cap display capture. Um, but I'll work on the camera in the future, uh, boys and girls. But at least we can get the screen share. This is another, this is a breakable, not interested, and it's a variation. So let's drop that down. We have an electronics. Okay, so this, this could be good. They're a little expensive. It's sold by plug-in store, and it's sold by plug-in technology. So I'm going to put that as an IP complaint. Let's go to the next. Mm, okay, I don't know what this is. Bulletin board paper. Let's just check 26 and 28. Minimum water quantity, 596. Only sells 50 a month. Too high of a minimum water quantity. So the thing with Pallet Fly, and maybe this isn't a great first one to do, you're normally buying large quantities from them. It's a pallet of items. Some other other um, things like Nextdeal, N-E-X-D-E-A-L, has smaller minimum quantities, but 
higher competition. Let's fly through this. Let's get this whole spreadsheet done. So we got lots of variations here. I'm personally not interested. Going to label that as a variation. This price and that's way off. So let's change that. Make it a little bit more reasonable. This price is very close. So what do we got here? Another variation. Now, you might want to dig into those variations. I've had good luck with locks in the past. It's not something that I want to do right now. I've been focusing on uh, toys and groceries that sell fast. This is only two, so it's not a huge variation. Let's see what the minimum order quantity is. 132. It sells about 51 a month, so we'll get a couple months we'd have to buy. It's sold by Amazon. Are they sharing the buy box would be the question. So there's five people total. We would make six. Five people total. We would make six. So we would take 51 units. 50 units divided by six would only be eight units a month. And we have to buy 132. So minimum water quantity, too high. On to the next. Here we go. We're going to check the variation on this one. It's not a uh, huge issue. It is Amazon is on the listing. But let's just see what the pink ones sell compared to everything else. Because it's selling 15000 a month. The pink ones right here are selling 26%. So you got 15000 Divide, uh, multiplied, multiply by 26% is so plenty, 3750, but you have to buy only 288. Okay, now we're talking. Let's see what the, the actual price is over the past three months. Because this is saying 30, this is saying 21. So this is probably up from, because of school. Amazon sells them at 48. They're currently selling between 29 and 30. So let's say 29 at the bottom. So maybe that is a good price. So it's 825 to make 716. And you only have to get 288 of them. So if we were to buy 288 to make 716, I think we found it, people. If we felt comfortable, we'd have 288, right? Times seven bucks would be 2016 dollars we would make from this one product. Show you how I did this again. Minimum order quantity, 288. We're going to make 716. So we're going to make $7 from that. So this is going to make $2,000, let's just say. Now we still got to do a couple more things. We got to go in here. We'll just make sure that they're sharing the buy box, which they are. Not uh, it looks like SC Goods is doing the most let's just make sure sc goods is not selling it they aren't not they're not and now let's go and see if we can actually sell it we can it sells really quick it has a high return meaning like a lot of people return it but it looks like it has a quick turnover let's ask jungle scout what it thinks of the feedback. I mean, people seem to like it. Details, trends. Over the past year, it's it keeps a good rate. So this is actually looks like a decent winner here, right? So we finally did it, folks. It took me the whole video. Let's see if I can get my camera running again. 
<laughs> I'll have to lower. I think if I lower the quantity, the quality down to 4K, because now I'm getting an overheat when it's plugged in and it's supposed to run unlimited. So I don't know why it's doing the overheat. But anyways, folks, that particular product, from what we just found out, you're looking at about $2,016 in, in revenue. Now, granted, remember, they're going to cost you $825. So it's going to be $825. Minimum order quantity is $288. So it's going to cost you plus shipping, right? A little over $2,000 to make, you're looking at eight. Uh, two eighty eight because you're gonna get your minimum order quantity to start times seven bucks roughly to make about two grand. So you're gonna get about an eighty six percent return, but with that one product right there, and uh, I bet you, I bet you, that they have quite a bit in stock on the Palletfly website, so you would be able to reorder. So what we do now. It was going to go into products, and we're going to search for that particular ASIN. And here it is. It says, disclaimer, Pal file only provides Amazon comparison information. Other products to help you research quicker. The information price should not be relied upon, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So Amazon sales rank, deal cost, minimum order quantity, item price. Perfect. Let's open this up. Let's see what they have in stock. So if we wanted to do this, it's got quite a few details here. Lead time, 20 days. So if we wanted to do this, we would take this minimum order quantity and either up or lower it. I'm going to keep it at the 288. We add this to my cart. Please email me. Actually, please don't email me. Oops, I should put this on the desk. So here I am. I go back to go back to what I just did. So I'm at. I was at the products. I put the ASIN in there. I opened it up. It's going to give you availability and stuff. It's going to show you the lead time is about twenty days. Current Amazon price around 30, selling seeds. Now, this is going to slow down, obviously, after school, but it's got a pretty good record. I already checked that I'm not gated in this. I can sell the product. So I added this to my cart. And so now I would review my cart, and then I would slowly go through the process. Now, one of the things with Palify that you have to kind of get used to is in order, to, so you can do an HCH deposit if you have the cash. You go right from your bank account to Palletfly. Or, and we're a minute and 32 minutes in, and I, and I, this is what I got. I got a $2,016, so roughly a $2,000 in profit. Granted, I know, it's a 86% return, and a lot of people aren't going to have the original $2,500 to put out, put into this and trust this. But I'm just showing you this. And we'll, we'll, we'll work our way down to some other sites where you can do less investment. But this is a good hour and 30 minutes of, of, of a way to uh, uh, process this stuff. So as I, as I end this is what you'll see is, the thing with Palletfly is you can do an HCH deposit directly. You can do a Zeal deposit from your bank account directly. Or you can use Melio and use a credit card so you tell them you're going to use Melio, they go through, they give you an invoice number, you take your credit card, you pay through Melio, and then you pay an additional 3% fee on top of those charges, which you're still making 86% profit, so the 3% would drop it down to 86 And even if you, you have so much leeway there with pricing that you can break even pretty good. And now remember, though, I'm in school season now. It's a 20-day lead time to ship out, then it's got to get to Amazon, then it's got to get labeled, then it's got to get in stock, and then it's got to get shipped out. So I'm putting $2,400, $2,500 out there with shipping for 40 days to get back uh, the 2000 But 
these sell so quickly that they should sell out almost instantaneously. So as soon as they hit, the money's going to get turned around and then they have time to return it. So they have a 30 day return policy. So once the customer receives it, it's another 30 days before you'll actually get paid for that. So you're looking at around a 60 day, it could be 60, uh, with lead time and everything, a 60-day turnaround time, where if you put this in a credit card, you're going to be paying interest fees if you don't have the ACH deposit. But after that's all said and done, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you see how you can make money on Amazon here with Analyzer Tools and Jungle Scout using WholesaleCentral.com from a site called Palletfly. And Palletfly is all done through emails and stuff. So uh, if you go through their press kit and, and their policies and categories and stuff, they'll show you the step-by-step. I was a little confused by it at first, but you can't talk to an individual. You might not like that about Palletfly. Everything is done via email, but they're very good and very precise with telling you what step of the process there are along the way. Um, but I would submit this for a quote if I wanted to do this next. And I probably will when we get off the when I get off of here. I'm a little bit worried about the the camera. I want to figure out how to keep it from overheating. Um, but this is a way. Now I just showed you if you're in if you're looking. I know now the next step is well, where do I get twenty five hundred dollars to do this, Dave, and trust this? That's not shouldn't be your mindset here. The mindset should be in an hour and 30 minutes, granted I've got skills over the past five years of doing this quickly, but in an hour and 30 minutes, I figured out how to get my money working for me where I can take an hour and 30 minutes worth of time and make $2,000 worth of profit while I'm sleeping, while these are selling, while Amazon is out doing the work while Amazon is delivering it, shipping, handling my customer service, all that stuff. In this amount of time here, less than two hours, I made a $2,000 profit. Granted, I had to, I'm had i going to have to invest, and there's going to be some risk involved on my end. Uh, but I'm confident in my skill set and building those skill sets. And once I do that, I can deploy this capital and get a return for my efforts while I'm sleeping. And so for me, there's not too many other ways where I can go out into the world and with and and take less than two hours worth my time and flip that into roughly two thousand dollars worth of profit in roughly two hours. I do stuff to get up every morning and I have other videos here where I go through and I manage my account for a couple of minutes. But anyways, I should cut the short and do another video in the future. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I hope this helped. Please put some comments below. Let me know what I should work on next. It's DaveWriteTheCapitalist.com. I mean, it's Dave Wright the Capitalist on YouTube. Here's the link to the Analyzer Tools. Here's the link to Jungle Scout. Please use them to help me out. Here's Sellerboard. We can go over that in another video. If you want to talk philosophy and mindset, please go over to Dave Wright the thethinker.com and start checking out some of this stuff. And remember the site that we used to find that was Wholesale Central that was found on Powerfly. Uh, and we used Analyzer and Analyzer tools. So, okay. Thank you so much. Peace. Sorry about the camera. I'm going to, I'm going to try to figure that out as soon as I get off. So if you have tips, please let me know below.